in your inside of your mouth, on your jaw. Is that right? You want to go home and be well? Accept Jesus as your healer. And in the name of Jesus Christ, may it leave the man. Go away from him. God bless you, dear. For believing, having faith with all. Are you saved? I know now that seeing you, you're becoming a young-looking person. Much younger than what you are in my presence. You are suffering with some sort of a headache. And it's, uh, it's come many years ago, about 25 years ago, your headache started. And it's been bothering you ever since. You have been a great believer. And you have, uh, you have prayed for this hour that's standing here now. You have said in prayer to God that if you could uh, only get to me, that uh, if I would pray that your headaches would cease. Those things true? Everything. That is true. Now, you heard what said that. That wasn't me. That was just my voice. Was those ever what it was? Is something I, I remember seeing a young person or something. Was it just the way it was said there? Just the way, yeah, just the way it was said. Now you believe that God did it. You believe God did it. Um, you're sure that God is here. Just a moment. I see something else. A young woman seems to be standing near you. It's a it's a daughter, and. Um, Yes, you were just fixing to go on a trip somewhere. You were going to see her. And she's from Indiana, Richmond, Indiana, is where she lives. And she, her husband is a minister. And she has wrote you a letter, something telling you not to come because I was coming here. Is that right? You're healed. You can go on. yesterday, today, and forever, and now just have faith and believe. God bless you, dear colored people, shouting. He, he is always ready to help and to believe, to help the people in need. Just a moment, the lady, now I see the Holy Spirit standing in the corner. It's uh, over a colored lady. She's looking this way. She has been and she's praying. She has a growth. And that growth is in her throat. She's got her hand up. You accept your healing lady? The lady's sitting right behind you there. Also, she has a growth and it's in her shoulder. Is that right, lady? Both of you stand on your feet right now. The two ladies right there with the growth on the two colored lady. Jesus Christ heals you both. You can go home and be made well for God's glory. Your faith has healed you. God bless you. It's gone. Have faith in God. Do not disbelieve, but believe that all things are possible to them that does believe. Amen. My heart of faith bank in the building. And this was real milky out over the building. You are certainly in the spirit of the Lord now. Anything could happen. How do you do, lady? Do you believe me to be God's prophet? It's, I mean, well, a prophet is a preacher. You don't expect me to be of the enemy. You expect me to be of God. Is that the way you accept it? Well, then I can help you. For he told me if I would get the people to believe me and be sincere when I prayed, that nothing would stand before the prayer. And now it isn't the, the I that helps. It's God that does the healing. I questioned. I said, they won't believe me. He said, there'll be two signs given to you, as was to the prophet Moses. In this the people will believe. And one of them was to reveal the secrets of the hearts of the people to them. Now, you're not here for yourself, although you're nervous and run down, but it's been caused by a disease of this child. This child here is suffering 
It's been turned down by the doctors to die. It's leukemia. Isn't that right? You brought the child from out of town. You've traveled, coming from the west, coming east, you have come. You come from a, a state that has mountains, it's Pennsylvania, and your city, I believe it's Chambersburg, isn't that right? Bring the child to me. Little sister dear, the Lord Jesus was here, he'd lay his hands up on you, and death would leave you and you'd live. Do you believe that I am his servant? Then in his stead I lay my hands on this child and bless it, and ask that the demon leaves the child and that life comes to the child and it will live and be well. Come out of the child, Satan, by the authority of God's Bible with the divine gift ministered by an angel, I adjure thee to leave the child. Come from me. God bless you. The little girl with tremendous faith. Be well. God bless you, honey. Go off your right yellow. Do you believe me as his prophet, as his servant? Do you believe that God is near in his spirit and this which is now being done is of the Lord Jesus? Not me. I'm a man. Yeah. If God will let me know what's wrong with you as a vindication that I am his prophet standing here revealing the truth, as he said to the woman, go get your husband. She said, I had none. He said, you had five. She said, I see your prophet. See, I perceive that you're a prophet. Now that same spirit that was on that Son of God, he promised to send it back in the form of the Holy Ghost that would be with us and dwell with us to the end of the world. You believe it? If he can know your troubles now, can he? You got heart trouble. Is that right? Every person with heart trouble stand to your feet. You can be healed right now, no matter what it is, of the heart trouble. Lord God, thou knowest our strength and how feeble we are and how weak, but Lord, we know how strong you are. And heart trouble is something our doctors cannot do anything by. But Lord, who made the heart? You did. And I now rebuke this demon power that's holding these people with heart trouble. May he come out of every one of them in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you, sister. I just want to say something, please. You feel different now than you felt in a long time, have you? I so the people know there's a real dark spirit. You had bad stuff when you lay down. That's that's right. And now it's gone from you. Yeah. You're healed. You, yeah. I just told you. Yes, sir. You are. All right. Have faith in God, please. Everyone with one accord, have faith. How do you do, sir? All right, us being strangers one to another, but the Lord Jesus knows us both. Is that right? God of heaven, who created the heavens and earth, dwells in Jesus Christ, promised to return again in us. And what he done, we do also. Do you believe me to be his prophet? The reason I say that, the angel of the Lord told me, get the people to believe you. And if they won't believe you, then you'll know the very secrets of their heart, and they'll have to believe it then. But you do believe me. And besides the reason that you do believe me, you are a minister of the gospel yourself. And you're here for a good cause. You're not sick, you're in need, and you want an old-fashioned revival to break in your community. That's what you're right. Every one of us wants that. Let's all stand for an old-fashioned revival. Almighty God that has created the heavens and earth, I ask now that ever demon power in this building will be broke. The power of Jesus Christ be made manifest. Lord, we, so we're not defeated, Satan, I adjure thee in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come out of the people. Stand up, you crippled people, out of the wheelchairs. Give me praise, everyone. Lift your hands and keep praising God. Whatever your needs are, receive it. Yes. Blessed be the name of the Lord.
Hallelujah.